And if you're not the camping kind like me, how about glamping? It's a throwback to campaign or safari style with proper furniture, which I love. Here to show us how to bring the look home, designer Suzanne Dima joins me. How are you? Thank you for talking about my kind of camping. Although I imagine you're probably a camper camper. I'm a bit of both. You're a bit of both, right? You need to be a blend. You're a girl, I am, at heart, yes. So let's show some beautiful pictures I was inspired by. Like, this is where I want to go to do the camping. Yeah, there's some pretty amazing places now where you can do high-end glamping. Yes. This one's called the Clayoquot Wilderness Resort. It is stunning. So if you look at the setting, you're going to see, look at the setting in BC. So those are tents? So those are prospectors' tents. Okay. Prospector tents are the ones that have the high walls yes. so that you can stand up. You're not doing like a lean-to. Right. <laughs> and right. they are kitted out to the nth degree. So we've got some, some shots of the inside. Look at the bedrooms. It's where a you've bedroom. Got, yeah. <laughs> there's, like, there's furniture there's in there, furniture. like a dresser. It's fully decorated. You've got your fireplace, oh. your, your storage pieces. You're not suffering when you're camping here. Mm -hmm. Every amenity. And here's the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the bathroom looks like you're on a ship, right? It's yes. got that, sh that sort of ship inspiration oh with the wood. So very polished, high end. And the yeah. thing is, is that um, glamping was a term that sort of became, it became popular around 2005. That's when we started to hear about it. Right. But it's actually been officially inserted into the dictionary in 2016. So it's a, it's a real thing now. Okay. Tons of resorts. But the idea of high end tenting has actually been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's when we're talking about campaign style and safari style. Yes. When people who were like on the march needed their furniture to be movable, transportable. And it's just kind of evolved from there and we've looked to that for inspiration to bring into our house for a long time okay. there's just more and more options so I want to talk about Hermes so they do these yeah. amazing trunks they did them for a long time beautiful leather they do amazing almost anything amazing so check, anything take, take a look at this <laughs> yeah. trunk which is so beautiful it's so beautiful so if you saw this clothes it would just look like a beautiful box opened up it's actually a desk so it's got that oh, fold-out wow. section beautiful quality leather work that Hermes is known for and that little stool that sits in front because yes. it's low now this is again not a piece for everyone it's an investment piece yeah. it's actually like a statement piece Absolutely. I think if you had it you'd have it in the middle of your party so everyone go ooh and look ah, at it look at my trunk yes um, so but at the sort of more affordable end we have Amazon right okay so this is from Amazon this is, is it yes and oh, it's, it's beautiful a, this is the butterfly chair That's and you really nice it's really nice lots of great stitching to make it sturdy mm -hmm. totally foldable mm -hmm. lightweight we love the foldability because it means if you have a small space you can get it out of the way yeah. um, um, the thing with the uh, butterfly chair is that it was invented or designed in 1938. Wow. So it's been around for a long time. There's a million copies, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I paired it with this kind of live edge table because I thought, oh, it has that lovely camping feel yes. with, the, with the wood. If you see the detail and it, it looks like a piece of wood that's just been hacked down. Yep. And then coming over to these, more chairs. These are from um, Jardin de Ville and it's available at uh, Home Societe. Yes. I have a hard time saying that. Yeah, um, no, you so nailed it. I did, thank you. Yeah. So so um, more slingback chairs, right? The slingback is part of that foldability. If you take a look at the side, I don't know if you can get in there to see how it works. So it's really easy to adjust and it's made with indoor outdoor fabric so you can leave it outside, no problem. It's very sleek though and that's what Isn't I like it? about it. Yeah. It's sort of, you know, it's a rustic idea but it's done in a very sleek contemporary way. That piece in front of you from the same place, I love Gorgeous. this piece, antique. And I just think in that lovely faded green, very it's nice. perfect for the glamping style and the webbing. I have a version of this chair at my own cabin and I adore it. Yes. It's just perfect for feeling rustic and connected to the forest. Beautiful. Now these stools down here, I love stools. They're a big part of it. You know, they're so easy to fold up. Oh, yeah. These ones are from Maison Baskin, these fun, fun colors, Beautiful. right? Um, what she's done is you'd normally see this in the old days, only in the raw finish with like a simple plain canvas, yeah. right? And now you have these bright colors with a footstool. Look at that one. That's I know, so nice. isn't that fun? You yeah. can use it for your feet. You can use it as a little table. Right. You can sit on it, and they're great for luggage as well. Yeah, that okay. looks good for dinner and binge watching right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> okay, you've got even more pieces yes. for us. Let's go take okay. a look.
some more gorgeous pieces here. Yes. So this one's this is a desk from LT, mm -hmm. and I wanted to bring it in because because people are riffing on that sort of foldability, transportability. Yes. They've also designed pieces that look like they might fold, but don't actually. So this okay. this actually doesn't. But because it's got the trestle, this kind of bar down it here, it looks like it would. It has that feeling, and also things like these gold pieces. They look like they could be a hinge or a component that might right. be part of the functionality. Mm -hmm. So that became a thing. I love the smoked finish, yeah, which gorgeous. is really hot right now. The smoke these, finish. I know. Metallic. Just that little bit of a detail. Mm -hmm. So I paired it with this chair from Sodad. This is more nautical feeling because that's yeah. also a place where we saw a lot of transportability. This kind of style of chair you see all over Europe. Yeah. I love this style and I love the pairing of it, sort of unexpected with the LT desk. So it folds up really easily as well and you can remove these pieces oh. for when you for, for when you store it. That's so, great. So all these things are really great for small spaces and for getting, like if you didn't want this on your patio for rain, just whip it inside. Yes. So with lighting, lighting is a cool thing. I love these. These are from, um, from Lee Valley. They have such great pieces. Um, this is a propane light. And again, like look at this one with the little uh, with the little hook, it's so, so gorgeous, so gorgeous, right? Oh, I love yeah, it. and the brass is obviously really <laughs> hot right now. Lovely. So you know, this is the old school way with the propane. But if you want something a little bit more safe, let's say, yeah. <laughs> you're not going to set your house on fire. <laughs> this one is from the Modern Shop. I love this piece, and it's it's an LED light. Let me turn it on down below first, actually. So it glows beautifully. Oh, that's nice. And you plug it in with a USB cable for charging, oh. and it lasts a really long time. Excellent. Isn't that gorgeous? It's safe, it's easy, it's contemporary, it looks yeah. lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, so now we have all of this hardware, these yes. poles, which are beautiful, like yes. this. Aren't they so leather? Oh. So this is from, this is all Waterworks for Summerhill Hardware. Okay. Um, such gorgeous pieces. This is the kind of thing that you can add to your cupboards inside to give it a little bit of a zing. Gorgeous. But it's the foldability of the hardware. Yeah. The fact that for the campaign style, you wanted the hardware to get out of the way for when you were transporting it, because otherwise, right. It would break off, right? That's right? So that's a big part of it. So anything that sort of indicates that will be part of that campaign style. That's lovely. And what are these here? So oh, these are casters. Yeah, casters. I love casters, again, for adding a bit of bling putting them on the sofa on your front feet so that yeah. you can move it in and out so it's really easy for moving. But these are so pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? These are really nice. And then of course this is your traditional, traditional luggage pull. Yeah. And they were literally on the luggage so that you could lift it up really easily. But now yeah. we see them in kitchens, right? Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah. And then the quintessential blanket. This is the camp style blanket. It looks hearty. <laughs> is it yeah. soft or is it scratchy? So this is wool. So it's to, wool. So to, the definition of a camp blanket is that it's made out of wool. Yeah you want it to deal with wet and damp and dirt really easily and the wool does. This is from a company in PEI called McCausland's. Nice. Um, I just love the colors and you have to have that that stripe in it, right? It's all part yeah. of it. Yeah. Now they look warm, they look functional, uh, they look amazing and I love the whole style of this idea. I gotta get to glamping.